Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy 22nd birthday, my love. My Annie. Party it up. That's what your 20s are for. This year, I wish you friendship. I wish you wild times. I wish you all the fun you can handle. It breaks my heart I'm not there to celebrate with you, Annie. Have a great time. Love, Mom. Happy 30th birthday, Annie. By now you probably have a husband. Ugh, isn't marriage the best? Oh, I came alive when I met your dad. Life is about sharing love, and Annie, I hope you've got love in spades. There's an intimacy that comes from spending lots of time with someone. By your 35th birthday, I expect you're settled down, a nice house in the suburbs, two and a half kids, a two-car garage. Ain't life grand, Annie. Savor it. Love, Mom. Happy 38th, my love. I think you're old enough to hear this now. It's true about women hitting their sexual peak in their 30s. Oh, I hope you and your fella are taking advantage of that. I know your father and I did. <laughs> Annie, when I was 39, you were eight. We were attached at the hip, best friends. Spend every minute you can with your loved ones. Every minute, never let them get too far away. Happy birthday, my love. I already miss you so much. Morning. Morning. Annie. Anne. I'm Paul. Great. It is my 40th birthday, Paul. What? You look really young to be 40. Are you sure? You do not have to try this hard, Paul. Actually, you don't have to try at all if you don't want. You can go. But I smell coffee. This all you've got? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. I had a great time last night. Mm, yeah. Mm. This is usually where you say you did too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You okay? Yeah. I had a great time last night. Are you sure about that? I'm sorry. Sorry. You're... You're great. My head's just in a different place. Inside that envelope? Look, let's be honest. I'm probably gonna walk out that door in five minutes and you'll never see me again, so... If you want to talk about it... Order. Stop. These cards are from my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. She died when I was eight. But before she died, she wrote me birthday cards through my 40th. Wow. That's so special. Huh? Oh, so that means the one in your hand is the last one. Yep. So, if she died when you were eight, why did she stop at 40 birthdays? She only lived to 40. I don't think she had any advice to give for after that. Or criticism. Criticism? She always thought that I'd be somebody by now, but I'm absolutely nobody. Come on. No, no, she thought I'd have a career and a house and a family. Well, what do you do? I'm a makeup artist. I paint the faces of beautiful people so they can sell you things that you don't need. Well, you have a nice apartment. House sitting. I'm only here to feed the cat and he's been hiding from me for two whole weeks. But are you happy? Do I look happy, Paul? I mean, is anybody happy? I am. Great. Good for you. Let me do you a favor. If opening that letter is just going to make you feel bad, don't do it. Give it to me. Let me take it, and then you'll never have to know. I know what's in this letter. And why read it? I really don't want to.
Thanks for the coffee. Dear Annie, happy 40th birthday. Oh, how could my baby be 40? Oh, dear Lord, I'm the luckiest woman in the world to be your mother. Honey, I know I don't have much time left, and maybe that's given me some perspective. I wrote all these letters for you, but also, let's be frank, for me. I wanted to stretch out my goodbye, but <laughs> uh, such is life, huh? So... Here's my final wish for you, baby. My wish is that in the short amount of time I got to spend with you, you felt how much I loved you. <sighs> That's to the moon and back, Annie. And I hope you love yourself just as much. <laughs> That's it. That's all the advice I have for you. Happy birthday, my sweet, sweet baby. <laughs> <laughs>